Welcome back. You have a message from John. Robots have been around for a while, but experts say robot use and demand has increased during the COVID-19 pandemic. In Austin, Texas, Moxie is a hospital robot that assists nurses with tasks like delivering supplies, lab samples, and medication. The five-foot-tall machine can bring clean sheets and remove soiled linen from patient rooms, freeing up nurses to do other tasks. There are also robotic delivery systems and drones used to inform vulnerable populations. This is a public health announcement. And this fall, White Castle will have a new employee, Flippy, who can flip burgers and cook fries. It will help minimize human interaction in an age of social distancing. Futurist and author Martin Ford thinks the coronavirus accelerated the push for more robots. Anytime you have an economic downturn, that puts increased pressure on businesses to become more efficient. Automation on jobs happens during economic downturns because it's combined with this pandemic, which puts a lot of pressure for social distancing. Because of the way COVID-19 spreads, robots can be ideal in the workplace. BrainCore says demand for their robotic cleaning equipment grew 24 percent so far in the second quarter of 2020 compared to last year. We don't know how robots are going to be used because Disasters, fortunately, aren't that common, and so we're learning as we go. For more than 20 years, Professor Robin Murphy has been a pioneer in robots used in disasters like Hurricane Katrina and the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident. Murphy and her team analyzed global use of robots from March 27 to July 1st. They found 203 instances of robots being used specifically to deal with the coronavirus. More ground robots were used than aerial ones. More robots were used for public safety than in hospitals or for clinical care. Robots were also used in various other sectors, too. So these robots that you think of being used for a pandemic are actually showing economic viability, earning their keep every day by disinfecting hospital rooms when you change out patients. Please select a cycle type. Bacteria. Murphy thinks robots will stay well beyond the pandemic, but with unemployment rates worse than any time since the Great Depression, there are legitimate fears that robots will take away people's jobs. But Murphy insists that's not the case. Typically in a disaster, robots are never used to replace a person. A person's just faster, better, smarter. They're usually smaller or doing things that a person couldn't do or it's just way too unsafe for them to do. Futurist Ford disagrees. He thinks robots are becoming more adaptable through AI technology and that repetitive, simple jobs will disappear. And with that, job loss and income. We're going to have to figure out how to live and function in a world where there might not be enough work to go around. While our experts may not agree on the future of work, they do agree that robot use is here to stay. Kat Sandoval, Newsy.